Welcome back, this is Yama Jack, and today we have Gunslinger Mario 64 Remastered Suicidal. Still the short episode. Tomorrow I might be more emotionally stable. Here we go. Lock and load. It's a, it's a shitty world. It's a shitty world. You know, it's it's uh it, it's days like this where I uh I don't know how to put this in a way that's I'm not suicidal, but it's days like this where I understand the transgendered, like, suicide rates. I definitely get it. You know, I, I live in, oftentimes, a bubble of happiness with, uh, YouTube. You guys are very, you know, pro-LGBT. Uh, which is like a shocker. I was expecting to get a lot of hate, <laughs> and, and I'm expecting to get a lot of it going forward as I uh, as I become famous. Uh, it's like that's that's expected, you know. And I uh, I don't expect for a moment that I'm not going to get harassment if I uh, if I end up being a uh, a large YouTuber. It's it's you, you can't avoid it, right? But uh, but for right now, you know, everybody involved is is pretty comfortable with me being trans and there are a lot of people who are trans who watch and uh, people who have thought about it in the past and it's a very happy inclusive community I feel that I have and I'm, I'm very happy to have been able to, to make that honestly I am um, and uh, the discord server that I'm in the rain meter discord server is a, is a very L like pro LGBT pro anybody really server like we have people who are anti-lgbt in the server they're just you know reasonable people <laughs> you know like you can you can have your opinions as long as you recognize that you're the asshole about it and you're not gonna like start making a fuss about it it's not a big deal you know um but you know what, whatever you want to be as long as you're not a dick <laughs> you're you're fine there and, and it kind of makes a very happy um, supportive community, which which I I really appreciate. Um, and then Serenity is of course new, but uh, similar. It's it's a very pro diversity, I guess. Um, group, which is is nice. And then every now and then I step out of that that bubble of of, of wellness and, and happiness, and I I step into a subreddit and I look for some kind of I'll, I'll look for like a RuneScape clan that's LGBT, or I'll, I'll look for a Maple Story guild that's LGBT, or I'll look for chess resources that are, you know, a little bit more gender neutral, or whatever. I'll step out of that comfort bubble, you know? And I'll be reminded that uh, everybody outside the comfort bubble just kind of hates my existence and wants me to disappear. And I'm like, right, yeah, that's why I never leave my comfort zone. Because outside my comfort zone is like literal death, and uh, then I retreat inside my comfort zone for <laughs> for a while. And it's like uh, the the main culprits on uh, on the uh, in the chess thread that I made was from Poland, and one of my friends was like, "Well, Poland isn't necessarily known for." Their uh, their pro LGBT st uh, stance, and I'm like, you know, we got news for you. Pretty much no country is known for their pro LGBT stance. Pretty pretty much all countries are pretty you know anti um, differences. <laughs> Poland's not uh, Poland's not necessarily the worst, and they're not uh, they're not too far off the best. Um, and they're like, well, yeah, but it's like a scale, you know. I'm like, it's like yeah, to a certain extent. Yeah. You know, like like in Poland, people, you know, you get beat up on the streets for being gay, which is like fine. But the, the difference, the, the important part of the sort of story here is that we're on the internet. And on the internet, everybody's a dick. You know? Um, something, something, true character is how you act behind closed doors or whatever. When when you give somebody the pretense when you when you when you give somebody the pretense of anonymity, they take away any pretense of like not being a dick. 
Um, you know, and, and it, does, it doesn't matter what country they're from. Chances are, if you're a trans woman on the internet, chances are you meet somebody, they don't like you. And, and I know it sounds depressing, and I know it sounds like... Perfect. Um, Let's get you restocked. What's the word? Pessimistic? You know? You're a real survivor. But it's, it's the reality. As, as a trans woman, if, if I meet somebody on the internet, if I meet somebody in a game, if I meet somebody in a server, or, you know, whatever, if I meet somebody... My expectation, if they ever find out that I'm trans, is that we will not be friends anymore. That's that's what I expect, and that's normally what happens. That's 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 the norm. Um, and uh, it's not in, in like the next like the the norm is for them to be like, wow, I can't believe you were trans, or, or like something stupid like that, as though it's like some kind of trick that I pulled on them. Um, and then like just after that, the second most common thing would be for them to like insult me and send me threats and stuff and then after that would be like well I mean you do you and then after that would finally be like hey you know I'm okay with whatever you want to be you know it, it, it's it's very uncommon when you meet somebody on the internet for them to actually just genuinely be okay with you being whoever you are it, uh, it doesn't happen very often and I, I forget that as I uh, as I live within my comfort bubble in the bubble of happiness and, and love and respect. I forget sometimes that the internet is a terrible place for, for any kind of minority. Just because I uh, I live in a in a bubble. And today I kind of got a harsh reminder of that. I did a lot of crying and I just kind of want to cry more and then go to sleep. <laughs> you know, like it's it's just one of those days. And then, uh, probably, yeah, never talk in any kind of chess community ever again. And, uh, it'll be a while before I, I step outside the comfort bubble again for, for anything like that. You know, I was, I was planning, I'm was, I making posts on Terraria. Like, the thing, the weird thing is, game subreddits are actually, like, generally pretty okay. You know, like, if I were to make a post on Terraria about how I'm trans, like, they're a trans flag in my Terraria post, I'd probably honestly get comments being like, hey, that's pretty cool, you know, like like that kind of thing, you know, but, um, and anywhere else, and it's just garbage. I don't know if it's because, like, gamers are more, why do we have a, okay, this is the weakest gun of the game, I believe, we're gonna kill the break with it um yeah i don't know i don't know it's just a sad day for me i'm sure it shows my co i definitely know it shows my commentary it's a different type of commentary altogether today i'm just sad dude i'm sad and i'm like beaten it's uh it sucks anyway the, the moral of the story was uh it's not like I, it's not like there aren't stories of uh, of LGBT people near me being murdered because they're LGBT. You know, so like the country you're in doesn't really matter. I still kind of fear for my life if I'm by myself in a dark forest. I'm st I still kind of, you know, I'm I'm still afraid of people that I meet on the internet, or I should be. Sometimes I forget, but you know, there are there are countries that I would rather not live in, but. When it comes to the internet, the, the country somebody lives in just doesn't matter. They're all assholes. I'm swearing a lot more. That's that's the main difference with uh, with my commentary. I just don't care, you know. I, I I don't care today. I just want it over with. I hate these people. Okay, for for the record. The uh, the 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 dude was like, uh, "Terp is a slur," and I'm like, "Oh wow, I found one in the wild." Thanks for explaining so succinctly that you're an insufferable piece of garbage. I, just, I don't have the time for, for for idiots like that that are just idiots. Like I don't, I don't have the time to explain why I should deserve to exist. You know, I don't I don't have the the time. I don't have the emotional capacity for that, and uh, I don't really have the emotional capacity to record anymore either. So. 
we'll end it there. And tomorrow, after I get some rest and wake up and feel better, after I cry a bit, I'll be able to record better. We got the first video of the Serenity SMP video going up tomorrow, though. That should be good. So make sure you subscribe to the new channel, because that'll be a, a breath of fresh air. Anyway, that's going to do it for today, so thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like, and subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. I was thinking of something you could say in the comments. But I don't, I don't, think, I don't think I have anything to say on that. <laughs> Bye.